Here's my uh, 1936 midget engine. It's got an inch and a quarter bore. And it was made from Popular Mechanics. 1936 Popular Mechanics. Two part plans. One plan, the first part showed you how to make patterns for your, for your parts. So it had a pattern for the crankcase, pattern for the cylinders, and a pattern for the uh, flywheel and the intake and the points uh, the timing timing points holder I cast those out of brass the cylinder head the cylinder and the flywheel are cast out of cast iron and uh, I cast the cylinder head from this pattern I cast it out of uh, I call it pistonium old car pistons they make very nice castings when you get the uh, temperature right. Aluminum pours at about 1200 degrees. So here's uh, here's all the castings, uh, the raw castings before they're machined. Of course the uh, cylinder has a core pattern in it. You can see these ends stick out and it's slightly oversized so that you have room to machine off uh, the uh, rough the rough part of the outside and you allow for the shrinkage of the metal in the mold. So here's one that's been machined out close to a size. It had a defect in there. You can probably see that. Uh, when, I, when I cut in there it had a defect which is very disappointing. And that's how it goes together. So of course here's the, here's the finished engine and these are the patterns. I mean these are the uh, castings. Now, what intrigued me about this article, it, it says, uh, from pattern to casting, machine parts to an actual engine, and then it says that it really works. So I wanted to see if it really worked. So that's the point of this video. I've never really made, uh, since I got it running good, I never really made a good video of it running. I do have one on there that was kind of jerky, but this one, let's see if it's run. Now, it has a 3-volt model electric coil for model airplanes. Two, D, two regular D cells, a uh, volt and a half each, 1.5 volts each, gives you three volts, and then they have a little knife switch. And use, this will usually start on the third try when I do it by hand, but if it won't start by hand, uh, I'll get out the uh, magic drill and try to try to get it to run. Now I rigged up a, a PM Research generator kit, which is really nice. It puts out like 10 and a half volts at full speed. And a PM Research uh, brass uh, flywheel. Uh, to, for, it's for a belt drive for a uh, steam engine. And I have a little glue bottle. PVC pipe glue bottle was my fuel tank. And then I have a uh, little stand here. I have the stand was made out of a, a bathtub faucet. Uh, the innards of an old one. A little light post, a little light holder, and a flashlight bulb of some sort. It has a uh, coil or condenser here and a 1977 General Motors uh, set of points. This is just a, a... I like the metal ones. You can still buy those at probably $12, $15 at the uh, auto parts store. I have a whole box of them. They work good. So let's try to run it. Sometimes it can be stubborn, but uh, I have to choke it. I just choke it with my finger. Contact. See if she'll go. One.
that's it 1936 midget gas engine it does really work <laughs>